love. Hello, my friends, and welcome back. I'm Peter. This is Papa's Bar. Friends, today is uh, New Year's Eve. It's uh, December 31st, 2021. And I thought I'd let the year go out with a uh, French cognac, also known as brandy. Now, let me explain this to you guys. Uh, people think everything that comes out of France is a French cognac. It's called cognac because, you know, that, that what people think they know. But here's the thing. You only can call uh, the, the, the cognac, cognac when it comes from the cognac region, when they use the grapes from the cognac region there. There's a part of uh, uh, land in France. It's called it's cognac. That's why it's called cognac, because they only use the grapes from that region. Anything else produced in cognac, uh, in, in France, it's brandy. This is a French product, but it cannot be called cognac. It's being called French brandy, because the grapes they used, and it's not distilled or produced in the cognac region, you cannot call it cognac. See, in the old days, uh, before World War uh, One, the German brandy, uh, also known as Weinbrand in Germany, it's Asbach. It used to be called Asbach uh, cognac before that, because they did use uh, the cognac region grapes, but distilled it in Germany. And after World War One, they weren't allowed to do that anymore. So they renamed it to Asbach Weinbrand, which is a German word for brandy. So I got three beverages here. French cognac. French cognac, very well known. And again, French cognac, very well known. All those three have been produced and used the grapes from the cognac region. The grapes actually got a special name. I forgot what it was. But that's it. This is also a French product, beverage. Uh, but they use grapes from different regions. Not, not a single grape is from the cognac region. That's the reason it's called French brandy. Okay, my friends, let's put this to the side. And there are way, way more than only three uh, cognacs from France. I just only have four, uh, three here right now. Now, price point, my friends. All those three here are very expensive, 40 to $50, uh, $55, depending where you go, sometimes even $60 supply and demand, because we had a slam and they really raised up the prices a while ago. Now it's down again. Now this one here, because it's not called cognac, $12.99. Yeah, my friends, this makes you smile, right? $12.99 for a French brandy. I mean, this is really, really cheap. Now, I, I never had this one before. This is brand new bottle. Uh, it says Saint Remy. And that, well, what it means is the region where it came from, the, the, the county, that, that's it. It has nothing to do with this year, this year, this year, because it's something totally different. It's, it's a world. Of difference now the um, most sold French brandy is this one here this one is sold all over the world by the millions and millions and millions it outsells this this and this combined I think it's about the price, you know, you pay $60 for that or you pay $12 for that, you know. Now it's a matter of taste. I mean, it tastes, everybody has a different taste, but it's, it's sold so much. Uh, I think there got to be something behind. That's why I bought this bottle. I was do, doing a little research and this, this, this outsells this one by eight times worldwide. I mean, this, I know that from all over the world. I know it's everywhere you go, you see it. This, I had no idea exists. I saw it on a shelf and I thought, well, cheap, I'm gonna buy it. 
Now it's gonna be a big experiment now and see how it tastes for $12.99 versus $60 the other drinks. Okay, my friends, let's close out the year with a bang, <laughs> with French cognac, all right? Bloop, 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 bloop. I hope you all had a good year, my friends, and I hope that the next year, 2022, uh, gonna be a little bit better than 21. Uh, a lot of bad things happen, so let's hope for the best, all right? Okay, my friends. Oh, by the way, we got more subscribers now. We got 136, which is not many, but loyal subscribers. I always see the views and the views increasing, so I really appreciate that. Uh, if you have not subscribed to this channel yet, because I see many, many views quadrupling, just subscribe to the channel. There is nobody ask you any question about information, or anything. You just subscribe, you click on the thing there, it, it says ding, and then you set up your subscription, what you want to see. Every video I put up, which you should, or once in a while, you know, and then you're just going to get a notification, uh, Dita uploaded a new video. That's it. That, there's nothing to it. Okay, my friends. Okay. okay. Let's go to the nose. Let's see what we have here. <laughs> 12 99 Wow. Very, <laughs> I want to say it smells like a scotch whiskey. It must be something off with me today, really. It smells like Jameson. That's really strange. I know it's not a whiskey, a scotch. You get uh, strong floral notes. I'm, I'm actually getting some butterscotch too. You get the oakiness. They uh, store that thing in uh, French oak barrels. And time-wise, uh, there is VS, which is the youngest of cognacs, about two years. Then there's VSOP which is, they say, between three and five years, maybe six, depending what you buy in cognacs. Brandy, is it, it's maybe a little different now. But, and then there's XO. XO is six years and older, which is the more expensive stuff. So I don't have an XO here. The highest I got is VSOP. So it does say VSOP, so it should be between three and four years old. You can't really tell by the color because I'm sure there's coloring in, or I would be surprised if it's not. I mean, it is a nice amber color. That's how cognac should look like, you know. There is a clear cognac, Remy Matin. They make a clear cognac. No color to it. I haven't had it yet, and I haven't decided yet to buy it, because the bottle is, again, $60, you know, and then you buy it, and it tastes like crap, and then you got something standing around. Nobody wants to drink, you know, just sitting on the shelves. Okay, my friends. Like I say, I get butterscotch. I, I, when, when I put my nose in first, I, Jameson came to mind. Because Jameson is a very sweet uh, Scotch whiskey. Nothing wrong with it. I like it. I got it here. So, uh, the butterscotch, the, some sort of vanilla, almond. Yeah, I'm get some little almond taste, uh, almond smell. Let's see if I get it in a taste too. Okay, my friends, to close out the year, this one is for you. I really appreciate you guys. Okay. Cheers, my friends. It is actually good. I didn't expect much for $12.99. I mean, it tastes actually good. I, I'm, I'm surprised. It does not taste harsh, it tastes sweet. You get the grape taste, which you don't get when you nose it, but you get it when you got it on your tongue. That's actually, that's actually, 
a nice a, a, a nice drink. Now you can mix that too, of course, with whatever beverage you want to put in there. I don't do that. I always drink neat. So this is really good. Uh, like I say, you get the sweetness, caramel, some sort of caramel, salted caramel, salted caramel. You get some of the oak from the barrels and then the, the taste of the sweet grapes. It, it's it's not sophisticated. Let me say it that way. It's not sophisticated. It's a very simple um, brandy. I almost said cognac. It's a French brandy, not the cognac because, as you know, there's the region of cognac. This is where they get the grapes. There you go. Those three are made there. And this is made somewhere else in France. So can call it cognac, got to call it brandy. But I want a second drink of that stuff. It's New Year's Eve. Yeah, yeah, the butter, I still get the butterscotch, the same when I smelled it. But, like I said, it, it smells like Jameson, but it's, it, it tastes a lot more sweeter. Uh, 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 the, the viscosity is it, it's tighter than Jameson. Jameson goes like that and then it disappears. This stays with you for a while. But, wow, well, you really. It's kind of like a bargain, you know, a little hidden treasure. Yeah, I, I definitely would buy that again. I definitely would offer that to friends coming over or family as a nice French brandy, not cognac brandy. Yeah, it's, I, I'm impressed uh, if I read it on a scale of one to 10, like I always do with all my other reviews, uh, especially the price. You can't go wrong with an eight. I'm on a, that's really good stuff. If I would have a commercial bar, this is my private bar here at my house. If I had a, a professional a, a commercial bar, I definitely would carry that in my bar and sell it for $5 a shot. You know, you make good money on a bottle. For $12.99, I mean, I expected nothing nothing for $12.99 because I got brandy here for 10 to $20 and it's no good. This really tastes sweet, uh, not complex, but sweet and, and good. There's not much to say to it. It tastes good. I'm impressed. I, I didn't expect that. So I'm really happy about it. So my friends, if you go out, you see that and you like cognac, and you want a sweet, buttery, butterscotch, uh, almond flavor taste, that's for you. You can't go wrong. I mean, $12.99, guys, really, you get a good drink. You hardly get anything for $12.99 anymore. You make two cups of coffee at Starbucks, you know, <laughs> it's, here you get a bottle of good French brandy. So I'm impressed. Okay, my friends. Stay safe tonight. Don't drink and drive. Uh, I hope you get a good evening with friends and family. And I see you next year. Until then, I'm Dieter. This is Papa's Bar. Bye bye, my friends.